Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my rather chilly workshop here today. Um, the other day I was uh, looking around Gearbest and I came across what they call the Magic Saw. So I thought, oh goody, it'll probably be something like this here. Uh, this was my late father's and it is the sort of thing you see magicians using to cut people in half with. Anyway, the other week this little box arrived and I thought, hmm, how, what's this? And as it turns out, this, would you believe, is the magic saw. Well, to be honest, I don't think you're going to be cutting many people in half with this, do you guys? But um, actually when you look into it, it says platinum saw here. Uh, and it's actually like uh, for cutting wood, uh, tiles and glass and other things as well. So let's uh, have a look at it, shall we guys? Right, so here it is basically guys, the multi-purpose saw. I so say we've got some different sorts of uh, little uh, wood cutting blades here. This one is for tiles. Unfortunately I don't have any tiles uh, at this house. Uh, this one's for a glass cutter it says here. So it's cutting glass. And I know exactly what we can cut with that. I've got some glass we can cut with that. And as you can see we have a large uh, wood cutting saw here and we have another uh, wood blade already fitted into the saw itself. Let's get it out and take a look at it shall we guys? If we can. Okay, right, so here is the saw itself then, as you can see it's a, you can adjust the um, tension on the blade with a little knurled nut here. Let's take it apart for you and you can see how it works then guys. Drop the blade out, uh, the, um, this bit comes apart so you've just got a handle. Uh, and this is where we load the, um, this is the main um, wood cutting blade. Whether we can get it out or not is another thing because they're all held in there extremely tightly. Ah, can I get it out? God blimey. Well we had to lever it out with a screw drive but we got it out eventually guys. Here is the uh, main blade and as you can see it's got a little uh, plastic cover there to protect your fingers and the packaging. But uh, if we take a close look at these blades, the teeth here. You can see how they've been machined into the blade here. They're very similar to um, the teeth on this saw I have here. And you can see, uh, here it is, this, this style of uh, blade you can use to cut uh, in the forward and backward stroke as well. And it looks like uh, this blade is going to be the same. However, look at these two teeth here, look guys. They've got burrs on them, look. I suppose that will come off, um, those will come off when we start sawing. Uh, you can see the way they've been machined as well, look from the edge here, look guys, hopefully. And this blade is apparently inserted into the handle like so. And we have this little wing nut just here, which apparently we screw in the top. Like so, to, uh, here we go, to lock him in place. Like so, and then apparently we have a, a wood saw here. So I'll do is I'll get me um, workbench made up, and we'll have a look. <clears throat> okay, so I've got this fairly gnarly chunky chunk of wood here that's roughly two inches by two inches. So uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, give it a go, see how well uh, um, we can chop it up with the uh, magic saw, shall we, guys? Let's give it a go. See how we get on. Oh, okay. So we're hanging up in the backward stroke then. Oh, good grief! <laughs> Only wants to cut forwards. There we go. We're getting there. It's not doing too bad, guys. Just doesn't want to cut on the backward stroke. Ugh, blimey. Blimey, yeah, it's stuck again. Hanging up on the uh, backward stroke is the, uh, yep, the older wing nuts coming undone there. There we go, that was easy enough then. 
as you can see it's done a fairly decent job of chopping through it. Look, there's no uh, rough edges to it much at all really. So what can we do with the other uh, saw blades then? Um, let's try um, let's give it a go in this configuration now with one of the uh, thinner blades on it. Uh, and it's supposed to give you the same capabilities as one of these fellows, uh, a coping saw. This uh, type of saw you can uh, push the uh, blade around at different angles to get around to uh, you know tight corners or go around round corners or whatever while you're sawing. So um, we'll give this a go. I've got some uh, MDF here somewhere. Right, let's see if we can knock a wiggly corner off this bit of MDF then, shall we guys? Okay, we're getting there, but as you can see, the um, the saw is starting to impact on the work. So what we'll have to do is turn the blade around. It's not quite so easily done with this as it is with a proper coping saw, but uh, I'll show you how it's done. First off, we're going to have to take the tension off the blade, like so. Pop the blade out. If you remember, it's impacting like so. So we have to drop the blade in here, this way, like so. So it's uh, Cutting it at a 90 degree angle now. We retension the blade and we'll just pop it back into the uh, slot we cut earlier on. Like so. As you can see, we should be able to finish the, um, the cut off now. Nice round cut there guys. I mentioned earlier on that this uh, little fellow can also be used to cut tiles and glass apparently. Well I don't have any uh, tiles uh, at this particular house that I live in. I've got some glass though uh, and I did wonder what these little fellas were as well. There's two of them in the side here. And it turns out these are like tungsten on the ends here so they're uh, for glass cutting as well. And the other interesting thing I uh, noticed this morning was this little wheel on the end of the uh, saw here. Look, again, that's for cutting glass, I think you'll find. So I think what we better do is uh, we'll get a bottle over here and we'll uh, give them both a go and then we'll have a go at cutting some glass. Right, here's a bottle from last night to my favourite cider. There's one of these little uh, uh, glass cutter things. Or at least glass, glass scorers. Let's have a look, see what we can do with it, shall we, guys? There we go. I think you can see that. It's done a good job. Let's get the little wheel in now and give that a go. If we can. There we go. Nice straight line there, guys. Does a good job. Should be the if it was a sheet of glass, you could run it all the way along the length of it and snap it off. Okay then, so let's get this little fella set up for glass cutting then. And there is a little sticker actually just here that says glass cutter, and it is this blade that we will be using. Now the clever thing about this little packaging is all these um, saw blades are all held in with magnets. Look, little magnets holding them down. It's a brilliant idea, really. The only difficult one to get in and out is the, uh, the saw blade here. That's the only one that's difficult to get in and out, but these ones are uh, very easy. So what we'll do, as I say, we'll, uh, we'll get this uh, fitted onto the saw. All we have to do is remove one of the uh, coping saw blades, pop that in there for a minute, bring in the um, glass cutter. I think, can we get it in there like that? I think so. Give it a go. Yep, looks like it. We'll go in there. Okay, so I've discovered that this um, particular blade will only go in that way, so it's going to be more like a file than a saw. So what we'll have to do is try uh, this one, which is the uh, same thing, just round. Let's get that loaded in. Right, there we go. So all we need now is um, something to chop up with it. And it looks like the bottle has volunteered. So let's uh, give it a go then, shall we guys, see what we can do. Ok 
there then, so has it actually done any damage to the bottle? A little bit, yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a cut going on there. Let's carry on. Oh, that went well then. Okay, okay, so what appears to happen is the little head fell out of the end of the saw and somehow or another the um, bottle uh, broke that I was cutting. I mean, I don't know whether it happened because this fell out or because this broke and then made it fall out, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassemble the uh, saw again and we'll give it a go at the end of the glass this time. Right then, let's see what happens if we cut from the end of the bottle then. I think this time I'm going to have some eye pro on, guys. Get them on. There we go. Oh, they're cold. Right, let's try again. Oh, I see. So it obviously creates um, some sort of fracture in the glass. You could hear it, couldn't you? You could hear the uh, change in the saw noise and it's fractured it and broken it and that's what obviously happened last time there was a change in the noise, I do believe. So you can't saw a bottle then. Uh, so we heard the... Um, the fracture happened and then it uh, just completely shattered the bottle on two occasions. If I had some tiles here I would uh, try cutting tiles with it but unfortunately I don't have any um, at the moment so that's uh, unfortunate guys. The leaflet does actually show that you can cut a few other things with it. I mean we've tried wood, um, it doesn't mention anything about glass here but it says aluminium, nails, rope, rubber, electric wire, bamboo, bones, uh, an acrylic pipe so I suppose we could try some uh, aluminium, because I've got a sheet of aluminium. It doesn't tell you exactly what blade to use, but um, we'll give it a go with the aluminium and the electric wire and see what we can do, guys. Aluminium. Okay, so we can do aluminium then. What about some uh, 2.5 millimeter twin and earth then? Let's give that a go. See what we can do. Here we go. Some bamboo. Yep, did that quite easily, but I don't think this is all that clever a bit of bamboo, to be honest with you. It's a mild steel pipe. You ever get into the wall of it now? Very thin stuff, this is so it's difficult, but might break the blade. Let's turn it round. Eventually, 
15 mil copper pipe. Let's give that a go. Same problem again. Hangs up on the walls. Yeah, so. Yeah, same problem again, guys. So, uh, metallic pipe is uh, not quite so easy to deal with. Let's try some modern 15mm um, plumbing pipe. This plasticky stuff. Give it a go. Right in. Get it on there. Let's see if we can chop a little bit off. Yep, did that a piece of cake. And just for a laugh, and because it's freezing cold outside, we'll give some ice a go. Yep. Can handle ice quite nicely then. So it's ideal if you're in the Arctic or the Antarctic then. Actually guys, now I've put it back in the box, I can actually see that the glass cut here is supposed to be pointing at the little wheel here. Which is a, which we saw later, earlier on could actually cut glass, so... Okay then guys, so we've given the uh, magic saw a bit of a workout. We can see it can do some things, but not others. I mean, you know, sawing bottles maybe was a bit daft, but uh, we did try it and it kind of worked, I guess. Uh, as I say, I haven't got any um, tiles, so we can't cut any of those up. But we've given it a, a reasonable workout and it seems to do what it says on the can, guys. Platinum saw, or magic saw as they got it on their uh, gear best. Right then guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the uh, comments, please. Thank you. And you can subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, you can click like if you enjoyed the review and you can share it with your friends as well. Don't forget you can also follow me on my Instagram feed as well. And there's also my Patreon page too, guys. Thank you very much for that one. And what I'll do is I'll put you a, uh, a channel support card up at the end of the, uh, end of the review so you can check out other ways to help my channel out, guys. Let's just thank Gearbest for sending this lot in again. Thank you very much, Gearbest. Brilliant. Thanks for supporting my channel, guys. Okay then, guys. Well, I suppose uh, um, some of you must be waiting to get your tea or your dinner or whatever, so i better let you go then and I'll... Uh, Catch you back here at um, sometime in the near future, then. Laters!